tool. When evaluating an ETL tool, you would want to look at the following criteria. Functional capability, compatibility to your data source, and metadata support. Functionality refers to the transformation and cleansing capabilities. Typically, ETL tools handle both capabilities, but are much stronger in one area or the other. You should choose your ETL tool based on whether you need more transformation capabilities or cleansing capabilities. The ability of your ETL tool to read the data coming from your data source is essential. Make sure the ETL tool can connect to your data source and read your data. Lastly, the ETL tool you choose should support your overall metadata strategy. Your metadata strategy documents who, what, when, where, why, and how regarding every facet of the data that is being documented. We will discuss that a little bit later in this presentation. Popular ETL tools include Oracle Warehouse Builder, Business Objects Data Integrator, SAS Data Integration Studio, Informatica, and IBM Information Server. OLAP is a separate environment with a dedicated database drawing on diverse data sources and designed to, to support queries and analysis. OLAP, which stands for Online Analytical Processing, are used to slice and dice the data. They require a strong metadata layer and front-end flexibility. The OLAP server sits between the client and the database management system and understands the organization and database and has analytical functions. OLAP performs multi-dimensional analysis of business data and provides the capability for complex calculations, trend analysis, and sophisticated data modeling. OLAP can be the fundamental foundation for business intelligence, including business performance management, planning budgeting, forecasting, financial reporting, analysis, simulation models, knowledge discovery, and data warehouse reporting. There are three types of OLAP tools. MOLAP, which stands for multidimensional OLAP, ROLAP, which stands for relational OLAP, and HOLAP, which is hybrid OLAP. In MOLAP, a cube is aggregated from the relational data source. This allows the user to get reports quickly because the data is already pre-aggregated into a cube. ROLAP tools do not use pre-calculated data cubes. Instead, they intercept the query and pose the question to the standard relational database and its tables in order to bring back the data required to answer the question. Whole app addresses the shortcomings of both of these technologies by combining the capabilities of both approaches. Whole app tools can utilize both pre-calculated cubes and relational data sources. For, ob for obvious reasons, whole app is becoming the marketable choice and thus vendors are quickly putting together products that claim to be whole app. When selecting a tool, be careful that claims of whole app are, in are architecturally supported and not just repackaged products. MOLAP tools are best used for users who have bounded problem sets. They ask the same questions every day, every week, every month on an updated cube, such as in a finance department. ROLAP tools are best used for users who have unbounded problem sets, which means they don't have any idea what they want to ask from day to day, such as maybe marketing departments. If an OLAP analysis is part of your charter for building a data warehouse, it is best to purchase an OLAP tool rather than build one. When evaluating an OLAP tool, you would want to look at the following functionality. The ability to leverage parallelism supplied by the relational database management system and hardware. Performance, customization efforts, security features, and metadata support. Parallelism for OLAP query processing allows multiple jobs to execute concurrently on the system, increasing system throughput accordingly. Parallelism is used to support a large number of dimensions and large data sets for effective data analysis and decision making. The performance of your OLAP tool should be fast. Should the system be able to deliver most responses to users within about five seconds? This is very difficult when providing ad hoc calculations for large amounts of data. The tool should be quick both in terms of loading the data into the cube and reading data from the cube. Many vendors provide alternative techniques for data storage, which require extensive pre-calculations and hardware requirements. 
Studies have shown time and again that the biggest complaint from users is slow query response. The ease of front-end customization is very important when selecting an OLAP tool. OLAP tools are more and more often being used as advanced reporting tools. Front-end customization is necessary to allow the user to define new ad hoc calculations as part of the analysis and to report on the data without the need for programming. Some additional organizational questions you may want to ask regarding your OLAP tool implementation are how many developers need access to the tool? Is there any security to be implemented for access? What is the level of end user knowledge about OLAP analysis and data warehousing? What is the budget for purchase of an OLAP tool? What is the report requirement, static or ad hoc? And what is the functional domain for analysis? Another method for OLAP selection is the FASME test, which stands for Fast Analysis of Shared Multidimensional Information. Fast, the OLAP tool must deliver results quickly. Analysis, the tool must be able to cope with business knowledge and statistical analysis. Shared, does the tool implement all the security requirements for confidentiality? The tool should be able to handle multiple updates in a timely, secure manner. Multidimensional, the tool must provide a multidimensional conceptual view of the data, including full support for hierarchies and multiple hierarchies. And information, this deals with data capacity and how much input data the system can handle. Popular OLAP tools include Business Objects, Cognos, Hyperion, DB2, and MicroStrategy. Reporting tools allow companies and organizations to gain a better understanding of their business by providing critical information to employees, managers, partners, and customers. Reporting tools come with a front-end interface simplifying the technical aspects of database technology, such as writing and maintaining queries for reports. Enterprise reporting tools are tools capable of accessing all of the information assets in the enterprise and supporting a large pool of users. Your decision to purchase or develop a, a reporting tool should largely depend on three factors. Number of reports, desired report distribution mode, and ad hoc report creation. The more reports that will need to be created, the better off you will be to purchase a reporting tool. Reporting tools have management systems which enable automated report creation and distribution. If your reporting requirements go beyond executing existing queries, reporting tools are the better choice for allowing ad hoc report creation so users can customize data requests and, and parameters. When evaluating reporting tools, you would want to look at the following criteria. Data source connection capabilities, scheduling and distribution capabilities, security features, customization, export capabilities, integration with Microsoft Office environment. It's important that your reporting tools connect to the source that is housing your data. Nothing brings a performance management initiative to a halt more than the inability for your reporting tools to communicate with the relational database or MOLAP data source. One major benefit of utilizing a reporting tool over other business intelligence tools is the ability to develop and post reports and automate report distribution to specified groups and users. Reporting tools are often the visualization component to your business intelligence solution. They are designed to make reporting simpler, utilizing interfaces to aid in query development. As mentioned earlier, reporting tools are ideal for allowing large number of users access to different types of data. With this capability comes a greater security requirement. Reporting tools can implement security attributes on the report level, folder level, and table level. Popular reporting tools include Business Objects, Cognos, Actuate, and DB2. Metadata refers to the collection of information about the data stored in the application or database. Information about data can include definition of the data, type of data, size of data,